You can't make this up, hey? Look at that. You really can't make this up. Kind of decided to shoot today's video because just yesterday, I received a DM on Instagram, right? Desperate follower on Instagram. Watch that video that I shot over here at the Delaware Canal a few weeks ago, right? Using the Keperlan top water popper. Kind of came down here to fish, right? And he was like, dude, you got to help me out, right? I mean, when you read the DM, you can't even tell the person's mood, but just by reading the DM, I was able to tell that he was pretty desperate, right? He was like, I'm down here by the Delaware Canal. Dude, there's no water, no water. So what do I do? And I, <laughs> and I mean, if you're a local here, right, to Bucks County, you should know that the Delaware Canal does have a, a dry season that is usually during the summertime when water levels are actually extremely, extremely low, right? You all see just a little tiny stream of water going over here when in the springtime when they stock this place with trout, the water is all up there to the grass. So that is like a three, sometimes to four feet water difference over here, right? So I kind of thought it would be a wonderful idea to come out here and shoot a video, kind of a little tutorial how to tackle some place, right? Where this kind of stuff usually happens. As a matter of fact, I was just shooting the intro. Before shooting the intro, someone passed over here, right? Saw my, my fishing gear and my chataveito over here. And the person kind of stopped by and he was like, bro, what are you going to catch over here? There's no water. Follow me and let me show you how it's done. It is around noon time right now, 11.21 Eastern Standard Time. I just spent about two hours here at the canal, okay? Casting my chatabeito, and I can tell you that there's nothing wrong with the norries, okay? The fish are just super finicky because the water level is too low and clear. So, what do you do in, uh, under this type of circumstances? Well, let me show you what you do. Well, here is your answer, huh? We change the spots. Instead of just putting the rod down and giving up, right? We get out of our comfort zone. We branched out, you know? We adapt to the situation, right? The canal, the fishing over there, it was really, really bad. So, I mean, what you really want to do for the, for the rest of the day, right? Do you really want to grind it out with high chances of getting skunked? Or do you want to change the spots, hop in the woods, you know, to a, to a creek where you may actually land some fish, right? Food for thought, all right? Are we going to actually land something on the Noris Chattabeito? here at the little creek all right let me go down there and uh give a few casts eh Whew. oh boy yeah the promised land Yes, sir, that's what you can do. Go to your local creek to at least catch some dink, <laughs> some dink largemouth boy. Look at that, huh? My man, Noris Chatabeto, huh? Yeah, all right, it's a very tiny one, I'll give you that, but better than staying at the canal and not catching anything whatsoever, right? This is what I call progress, okay, folks? This is progress. We're in the middle of the woods right now, as you all can see. And um, I actually brought some packs of the EPF Swim. I got myself here a little EPF Swim pink, right? But the problem is I didn't really bring the Eurotech soft lock tungsten jig. So I, all I got in my bag that I found was a single size <laughs> thin hook. I've never really free-falled the EPF swim, you know, kind of just bloop out there, right? 
and let it fall to sea if you can catch fish. But fishing was so tough today, man. You, you got to do what you got to do. I, I have that much faith on my signature lure. What do you folks think? Do you folks think we're going to land any fish, right? And if so, how many species, huh? I don't know. There seems to be some sunfish around here. So let's give it a go, right? Never used the EPF is when weightless. Fish on. <laughs> weightless EPF is when. Can't make this up. And to top it off, what what is this? To top it off, it's a weird sunfish too. Well, let, let me wet my hands since I'm here already. Uh. Oh, it's a pumpkin seed. Look at that. Pumpkin seed on the weightless EPF swim. I know that the light is not the best. I didn't really bring a jig because I wasn't really planning on using the EPF swim today. But when the fishing is that bad, yeah, sometimes that's what you gotta do. Give me some action. Oh yeah, look at that. That's another weird type of sunfish right here. What do we got here? Oh, this is a this is a pumpkin seed green sunfish hybrid. You can see by the marks here at the back. Look at that big mouth too. Weightless EPF swim pin fishing at the hidden creek in the in the woods, okay? Oh, that was a horrible cast. I mean, I can't control the weightless EPF swim at all. The thing just goes wherever it wants to. <laughs> thing just flies wherever it wants to fly. Sun. The fact that we're catching fish on this thing, though, it is a little bit perplexing. I'll give you that. I mean, this thing has no action whatsoever. So we're pretty much just free falling a soft plastic over here in the little creek. Fish must be really hungry. Oh, look at that. Man, you can't make this up. The sizes, nothing big, you know, nothing big. But a species, this is our third species of the day. Look at that, it's a green sunfish. Lepomis cyanellus, yeah? This is about to turn to be a multi-species type of choked. Look at this, choked on that EPF. Is <laughs> you can't make this up. This is about to turn into a multi-species. Oh, sorry for that release, fella. Type of day. Yeah, go to the creek in the woods, they said. It's going to be fun, they said. I don't know about that. There are a lot of vegetation over here with thorns. Oh, boy. Whew. Got to be very careful. I'm just following these deer trails right over here. Boy. Man, the, oh, this one, this one, I don't know what's the name of this one, but this one is the worst. This one you really need to watch out. So I usually just use my fishing rod, then I step them down so that I can pass. If that thing gets on your skin, hundreds and hundreds of micro, just like the micros that we catch, you know, but there's going to be micro needles <laughs> are going to go into your skin, which is not fun at all. We're literally following deer trails boy and we by hey, that tell you what at least we caught a fish on the noughties you know it's all worth it it's all worth it okay just to say that i caught something substantial today all right I was looking at some smaller catfish down here. Boy, I just put my chatterbait down there. Norris Chattabaito. And this fish just took it. Right from under the falls. Look at that. I mean, you can't make this up. I don't even know if I'm filming this stuff or not. Am I filming, am I filming this stuff right here? Did you guys actually see this? Oh, you did. Look at that. You can't make that up. You can't make that. Man, after this one, after this one, I, I, I'm just going to call it a day. I'm just gonna call it a day. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you really can't make this up, right? I just want to show you all two 
48 p.m. I only got 12 minutes left out here before I actually have to leave. So after getting out of the creek, I kind of thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna hop by the lake just to see if anything cool is going on, right? I got there to the falls and I see this little tiny brown bowhead, the Ameurus nebulosus, just feeding in the water, right? Huge schools of it, which makes total sense. After all, we just passed the spawning season for the brown bowhead here around my area. As I kind of leaned in to see the fish, right? My notice chatabeito kind of went in the water and bloop i just felt a tap right biggest fish of the day showed up oh you know what this is exactly what this video is all about right this tutorial it is about the mental aspects of the sport you know if you are watching this right now watching this outro and you ask myself like leo did you actually plan out your day right this video to turn out to be the way it was, right? Since I started shooting the intro, the answer would absolutely be no, not at all, right? I got out of my house earlier today and I thought to myself, man, I'm gonna go to the canal. The water is low, but I am going to lay, right? Two hours, nada. And you know what? I'm going to put the numbers up here on the screen because numbers don't lie, right? It was at that point, breaking point that my soul was crushed and my day was ruined so what exactly do you do under those type of circumstances right do you just go out go back home sit on a couch and watch tv well not me as you folks can see right three species is still better than zero species so this is the moral of the story right that sometimes you really got to change yourself right and put the bad situations kind of transform them into good situations right kind of get that negativity and put it into something positive this is exactly what happened today right never would i have expected by serendipity too that i would have caught a large mouth bass like that on the norris chatterbait you know what i'm saying but it happened anyways if this ever happened to you folks out there okay hey remember this video all right just remember this video <laughs> it's time to go back home i'll see you all next time thank you very much for watching tie lines and take it easy